Okay, welcome to uh, Visual Basic, learning about objects, methods, and properties. In this simple Hello World program that we see on the left, uh, one object that's being used is Form 1. Yep, Form 1 is an object. Other objects that we've recently studied um, include hmm, buttons. Now forget that. Anyway, buttons and labels are the uh, other two types of objects that we've studied. So I consider it fair game for us to have a, a quiz on any type of object such as forms, buttons, and labels, where those three are three that, well, you've already studied. Now, there will be other ones that we study eventually, including the popular text box, picture box that allows you to put graphics in your program, something called a timer that allows you to animate something across the screen, and, um, that's about it. So know at least three of those uh, for now while we study Unit 1. Along with uh, knowing the objects, you should know each type of object's prefix. It's good style when creating objects in your code to use the corresponding three-letter, well, prefix. They're not always three letters, but in the case of these six objects, they are three letters. So LBL, of course, for label, ETN for button, and FRM for form. Uh, others that we'll study in the future, TXT for text box, PIC for picture box, and TMR for uh, that cool object called a timer that I repeat allows you to animate objects across the screen. Well, besides objects, another important thing that uh, adds to the, uh, your arsenal of Visual Basic programming code, you have a uh, you can also study properties. So there are three types of properties that you should know for a future quiz. And um, well, with regard to a form, there is something called its name property, and there's something also called its text property. Buttons and labels also have name and text properties. Another property that you might have uh, played around with in this first assignment that we recently finished uh, was the four color property that allowed you to change the, the color of the text on a label or a button. Um, if you want to uh, memorize more than three properties, back color, and visible are two other properties, uh, and also font. Some of you change the font of an object. Last of all, another set of three things that you should uh, be able to uh, use or recite are three types of methods. And I'm going to loosely call methods events as well. Well, in the first Hello World program, you actually use the load method. So load with a capital L. For good style, Visual Basic always capitalizes properties and methods and even object names. It also in that Hello World program, you also used show, message box dot show. And in the most recent assignment that we uh, finished, the click event, or click method if you will, was also used when buttons get clicked. Now there was a fourth one, um, exit, application.exit would also be considered a method. How do we know that these are methods? Well, because they're actions. They're like verbs. They're things that people do to the computer when running your program. Load executes when somebody clicks that green triangle to play your program and to go into runtime. Show, of course, is something that pops up a message box onto the screen. 
Click is something that the person does to the computer and clicks one of your buttons. And exit, well, that's the opposite of load in a way. It uh, stops the program. You would not say that something uh, is, that, that name is a verb, that something happens, uh, and we call it name. Name is more of a, a noun or an adjective. So properties are never verbs. Neither are objects. They're also nouns. So uh, methods, well, they're actions. Quite typically, when you use a method, you must type parentheses. So I'm going to put the empty parentheses next to each one. And sometimes there's something in the parentheses, like messagebox.show, hello world. But at other times, uh, the, the, the parentheses might be empty. Like, for example, application.exit uh, would have empty parentheses. There you have it. You should know about objects, properties, and methods in this early unit of our study of Visual Basic. Be able to list at least three of each on a future quiz and know the uh, prefixes for whichever objects you uh, memorize. Also today I would like to uh, emphasize what an assignment statement is. Oh, this right here is a, a first example of an assignment statement. And an assignment statement works from right to left. Well, I guess I should say first that an assignment statement is a, a line of code. It's a whole complete thought, like a sentence in English. So uh, this line of code works from right to left. Whatever is on the right of the equal symbol plugs in for whatever is on the left. Never write your assignment statements or type them the other way around. You'll get a squiggly underline error. Just like in math, usually at the end of an algebra problem that you're solving, you write something like x equals 3. Many teachers will not criticize you or take points off if you write something the other way around, such as 3 equals x. That is typically not allowed. So in computer programming, we always write the object equals and then whatever it is that you're setting it equal to. Well, let's look at this closer. On the left here, you have an object. LBL hello is an example of a text box. Uh, I'm sorry, it's an example of a label because uh, you assume that somebody named it LBL because it was a label. So here you have an object. Then you have the dot symbol and then one of its properties. The equal symbol because uh, the equal symbol needs to be found in an assignment statement. And then whatever it is that you're putting into lblhello.txt. So this is just whatever value or number you're storing. It's always object.property. You would never type text.lblhello. And by the way, the line of code that you've already studied, messagebox.show, hello world, that is not an assignment statement. There is no equal symbol. So uh, that's just something else that I'm not getting into today. If I replaced messagebox.show hello world with this assignment statement, our famous hello world program would work a little differently. Instead of an, an annoying message box popping up on the screen, it would run more like this. You would have an interface And within that interface, we're assuming that you have a label and that you also have a button. Somebody would come along and click on the button. When they click on the button, we are assuming then that instead of form load, we would have the line of code private sub button click, whatever the name of that button is, underscore click. When that button is clicked right here that I'm waving my mouse over, then whatever code is inside that private sub ed sub would execute. Well, let's pretend it's this line of code right here, this assignment statement. Hello world would then show up in the label 
because assignment statements work from right to left. And why would it show up in this label? Well, because that's what we're telling it to do. We're telling it to go into the LBL hello. Pretend that this label was named LBL hello. You can't omit the dot text though. If you didn't have dot text there, Visual Basic wouldn't know what you want to do with hello world. Maybe you'd be trying to put it into the foreground color property or the font property or weirdly the visible property. It wouldn't make sense, but Visual Basic doesn't know any better. So you always have to type dot and then whatever property it is that you're trying to put text into. Because the text property is what shows up on the screen, that's what the person will see. So when they run the program, I repeat, and they click the uh, button right here, hello world will show up in this label because of this line of code. Of course, we would add a clear button perhaps and an exit button for good style. I consider this version of Hello World to be better than the original version that we uh, studied earlier this semester. Because this version popped up an annoying message box. Usually message boxes pop up on the internet, on the web, on your iPad, on your cell phone, in situations where you did something wrong. Usually a message box is like in your face, tell, telling you to look at me now and read this. Click the OK button uh, before you continue with anything else. Well, I like to have a little bit more subtlety, a little bit more grace and elegance in my Hello World program. So I like the more refined way of doing it, and that is just present a button to the user, and if they want to click on it, and when they do click on it, then we're printing out Hello World in this label. Just another way to do the same thing, but I think this uh, way is a, a favorable Hello World program. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's a wrap on my lesson about objects, properties, and methods. Objects, of course, are things that you put onto your interface and usually drag them around. Properties are things that, well, behind the scenes, allow you to decorate and control your objects, give them different colors or different, fra different phrases. And methods are the actions, the actions that people supply when they run a program, or you, the programmer, in a behind the scenes way, want to make something happen like a verb, you would use methods. Finally, uh, we discussed assignment statements, and they work from right to left. As long as you have all the parts right, it causes a program to actually do something on the screen. Another assignment statement in closing that we studied uh, was the one that went something like this. LBL step one dot visible equals true. That's an assignment statement because it has an equal symbol. And it works from right to left, meaning the true plugs into visible, telling the computer to make this label, which we assume was invisible before. We're telling the label to suddenly appear. It works from right to left. It would make no sense to have like font typed in here. LBL step one font equals true. That doesn't make sense. So in the case of visible, uh, it works with either true or false. That's it. Uh, see you later.